Class, our topic for today is partnership operation. It's when you allocate income and losses to the partners. Actually, for me, ito yung easiest among the four stages in the partnership. Kasi you just have to follow kung ano yung agreement ng partners on how they allocate profits and losses to each other. Alright? Mas may explain ko yung concepts dito as we go through our problems for today. Let's start with problem number one. Okay, for problem one, we have two questions. Let's read the questions first. Question A. Assuming that the partnership generated a profit of 900,000, how much is the total share of pollution in the net income for the year ended 2020? Question B. Assuming that the partnership generated a profit of 710,000, how much is the total share of pollution in the net income for the year ended 2020 if income is distributed to the partners only as far as it is available? Okay. Now, question A. As you can see, iba yung income niya is 900. For question B naman, it's 710,000. Okay. We can now go to the given itself. Traffic and pollution are partners who have an agreement to share profit and loss in the following manner. Okay, this is their agreement for partner traffic, for partner pollution. Annual salaries, 250000 for traffic, 400000 for pollution. Take note class na ang minention dito, annual. Okay? It means, for example, nagsimula yung partnership July 1. Kailangan i-prorate mo pa. Dapat 6 months lang ibibigay mo na salaries to the partners. That's why, like ko sabi yung magbay dates in the problem, you have to underline. Okay? Kasi baka nandun pa yung trick. Madali lang siya. Pero since na-confuse ka dun sa dates, kaamali ka pa yung the CPA boards. But this one naman, walang minention on the dates, we assume that existing na siya sub January 1 that year. Alright? Next, interest on average balances, 10%. 10%. Bonus, based on net income after salaries and interest, 10% for partner traffic. And then the remainder, 60% for traffic, 40% for pollution. Traffic and pollution's average capital balances for the year ended December 31, 2020 are 600,000 and 300,000 respectively. Sir, para sa yung average capital balances, well, earlier, may nabasa tayo interest on average balances, 10%, 10%. There's no need for us to compute for the average capital balances because given na siya, 600,000 and 300,000 respectively. Alright. Going back to the questions, basically, ang tanong is, how much do yung share in the pollution in the net income? Okay? How do we solve the traffic and pollution problem? Well, a solution dyan, enroll ka at Pinakel CPA Review School. We're located in Teachers Village, Quezon City, no traffic, no pollution, very safe. Imagine yung Barangay Hall is just 100 meters away, accessible to all major transportations, coffee shops, milk tea, dormitories, lahat ng kailangan mo, nandito na. San ka pa? Anyway, how do we solve this? Ganito siya. When you answer partnership operation, income allocation, ganito yung format na gagawin mo dyan. Gagamit ka ng table. First column is for partner traffic. Second column is for partner pollution. And always remember, maglalagay ka ng total column. Okay? Malaking tulong siya. And then, on the left-hand side, lagay natin yung agreement nila. So, we have the salaries here. Salaries, interest, bonus, and the remainder or the balance. Remainder. Okay. Partner traffic, partner pollution, and the total. Okay. So, for the salaries, 250 for traffic, pollution, 400,000. Bagay lang natin siya dito. 250,000 uh, 250, and 400,000. 250 plus 400, 650,000. Okay, next. Interest on average balances, 10%, 10%. And for traffic, the average capital balance is 600,000. So 10% times 600,000, 60,000. For pollution, 10% of 300,000 is 30,000. Put here 60,000 and 30,000. Okay, total is 90,000. Alright, let's now go to the bonus. Bonus, based on net income after salaries and interest. Okay, yung key dito is that, take note mo na yung salaries and interest here are not expenses of the partnership. Okay, hindi yan salaries expense, hindi yan interest expense. 
these are salaries and interest for the purpose lang of knowing how much you may share ni traffic and pollution in the net income for that year. Okay? Hindi siya expenses of partnership. Also, pag sinabi net income, syempre, na-deduct mo na yung expenses dyan. Alright? Those are paano namin kukumpitin yung bonus. I'll, I'll show you a technique. Whenever may bonus na sa partnership, like in income allocation, ganito yung gagawin mo dyan. Okay? Lagay natin dito yung solution. Ha? Lagay ako ng arrow sa so bonus. First thing is, kailangan iset up muna yung equation in computing the bonus. Okay, so, bonus is equal to, bonus is equal to, according here, 10% daw siya ng net income after salaries and interest. Okay? Bonus is equal to 10% of net income. When you say after salaries and interest, minus salaries and minus interest. Okay, ganun siya. Actually, maraming variations yan. Basta sinabing after, minus yun, right? Minsan sinasabi pa, after salaries, after interest, after bonus. So, may minus B ka pa doon if nakalagay after bonus. In this case, after salaries and interest lang. And then, after we set up the equation, we can just plug in the figures. Let's solve for bonus. Let's call it B. B is equal to 10% of what is the net income. For question A, net income is 900,000. 900,000 less how much is the salary. So far, we distributed 650,000 to the partners. And interest, so far, we distributed 90,000 interest to the partners. Alright, let's now compute. Okay, so 900,000 less 650,000 less 90,000 times 0.1, 16,000. This is the bonus to partner traffic. B is equal to 16,000. Gets? Okay, so the ID to. Lagyan natin 16,000 here. For pollution, walang bonus. Eh. Okay. Total is 16,000. And then the last one is the remainder. It's just the balance. The profit for the year is 900,000. Dito mo ilalagay yung 900,000 because that's the total profit. So far, nagbigyan tayo ng 650, 90, and 16. What is the remainder? Kumpitin natin. 900,000 less 650, less 90, less 16,000. Remainder is 100. 44,000. Okay, 144,000. And here, 60% down to traffic, 40% to pollution, times 60%, times 0 0.6, 86,400. Okay, 86,400. And then for pollution, compete natin. 144,000 times 0 0.4, 57,600. Okay, 57,600. Alright, we can now compute the total income allocated to the partners. Traffic, 250,000 plus 60 plus 16,000 plus 864. Total is 412,400. 412,400. And for partner pollution, 400,000 plus 30 plus 57,600. 487,600. So, ang pang-check mo din dito, if you add the 2, dapat 900,000 siya. Plus 4, 1, 2, 400, 900,000. At least may sure tayo na tama yung allocation natin. Alright? Final answer for question A, how much is the total share of pollution in the net income? Ayan, babox ka. 487,600. Okay? So, that ka na rin. 487,600. Final answer for question A. Clear? Question B, assuming that the partnership generated a profit of 710, how much is the total share of pollution in the net income for the year 2020 if income is distributed to the partners only as far as it is available? So, ito yung major difference niya with question A. Nakalagay dyan, income is distributed to the partners only as far as it is available. Okay, so how do we answer that kind of question pag may nakalagay na Income is distributed to the partners only as far as it is available. Okay, this is how you do it. Let's just do the same format. Traffic, pollution, and total column. Okay? Salaries, interest, bonus, and remainder. Okay. Since same lang naman yung given, 250 salaries and 400 for pollution. pollution. So same lang siya. 250,000. They have 400,000 for pollution. They have 650 here. 
Alright? So, same lang siya as what we did for question A. But this time, since 710,000 lang daw yung income, so, dito siya, 710,000, we can only give interest up to, so, 710 minus 650, 60,000. Okay? But, for question A, na-compute natin interest, 60 and 30, 90,000. Okay? If sinabi sa problem, income is distributed only as far as it is available, ang mangyayari dun is that hindi ka sa sobra dun sa 710,000 na allocation. Okay? In that case, yung maximum na interest na mabibigay natin is only 60,000. Gets? Yun yung major difference siya. So, sir, paano yun? 90,000 to. And then, nilagay mo lang dyan is 60,000. How do we allocate the 60,000 interest to traffic and pollution? Yung gagamitin mo allocation dyan is the absolute amounts of the parang interest that should have been given to the two partners, which is 60 and 30. Alright? Nilagay ako ng asterisk. Yung asterisk, solve natin dito. Okay? So, yung 60,000, how do we allocate that to partner traffic and pollution? Okay? Ang pag-prorate niyan, again, is the absolute amounts. 60 over 90 and 30 over 90. Gets? Lagay ko dito, 60 over 90 and then 30 over 90. Okay, let's compute. 60,000 times 60 over 90, 40,000 for partner traffic. For partner pollution, or pollution pa natin, pollution, it's 20,000. Gets? Okay. Lagay natin dito, 40,000 and 20,000. Yun yung major difference niya, okay? But take note class, na gagawin mo lang to if may minensyon na ganito in the problem. Otherwise, if the problem is silent, you do our approach for question A. Gets? Okay. Let's compute the total. Pollution is 420,000. This is 290,000. Now, if you add the two, that's 700. 10,000. Final answer, what is the total share of pollution? 420,000. 420,000. Okay, let's recap. Ah. Okay. Gagawin mo lang to, yung ginawa natin sa question B, if explicit siya the problem. Otherwise, tuloy-tuloy lang siya. And then, mag adjust ka na lang dun sa remainder. Gets? Okay. Final answers, 487,600 and 420,000 for problem 1. Plus, if you appreciate this free accounting tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I have a new video. Let's go to problem number two. Okay. Alright. Problem number two. Short question lang for this one. By how much would partners' capital account change? Okay. Partners A, B, and C have average capital balances of 96,000, 48,000, and 32,000 respectively during 2020. The partners agreed on the following. Each partner receives 10% interest on his average capital balance after deducting salaries of 24 to, for A and 16,000 for C. The residual profit or loss is divided equally. Okay. In 2020, the partnership sustained a 26,400 net loss before partners' interests and salaries. Okay. In this problem, nagkaroon ng net loss yung partnership instead of income. So, how do we allocate the net loss to the partners? Actually, very straightforward lang siya. It's the same as our, our approach for problem number one. Lagi ko dito, partners A... B and C, and don't forget the total column. Okay, pang check natin siya. We just follow ko ano yung agreement nila. First daw is magbibigay ng interest. How much you interest? 10% on his average capital balance. And we know the average capital balance is 96, 48,000, and 32,000. Multiply na natin by 10%. So for partner A, we have 9,600. Partner B, 4,800. And partner C, 3,200. Let's compute the total. Okay, 96 plus 48 plus 32 plus 32, 17,600. Okay, 17,600. Alright. 
Next, after deducting salaries of 24,000 for A and 16,000 for C. Okay, lagay natin salaries. For A, 24,000. For C, 16,000. Total niyan syempre is 40,000. Okay. The residual profit is or loss is divided equally. All right. Since we have a net loss of 264, ang lalagay natin here negative 26,000. 400. Okay? Interest, salaries, and don't forget yung remainder. Okay? Since positive yung 17,600 and the 40,000, so how much dapat to para mag-end up tayo with negative 26,400? So let's compute. Gagawin ko dyan, 17,600 plus 40,000 plus 26,400. Okay? Kailangan ko ng negative 84,000. I'll put here negative 84,000. Para maging negative 26,400 yung total. Okay? Now, we know that the three partners, your residual profit, maging equal do sila. Okay? So, 84,000, we divide this by 3. 28,000 each partner. Okay? For partner A, negative 28,000. Partner B, negative 28,000. Partner C, negative 28,000. Alright? We now compute the allocation to the three partners partner e96 plus 24000 minus 28000 okay positive 5600 even though there's a net loss as you can see class positive pa din nakuha ni partner a because of mainly yung salaries partner b 4800 less 28000 23200 negative 23200 minus 23200 and then for partner C, let's compute. 3,200 plus 16,000 minus 28,000. Negative 8,800 for partner C. Ayan. Okay, so double underline natin. Let's go to the question. By how much would partner C's capital account change? Alright, final answer. No box ko. 8,800 decrease. Letter C. 8,800 decrease. Okay, very straightforward lang siya. Yung lesson lang dito for this problem is that even though net loss siya, tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Ibigyan mo pa rin ng interest, ng salaries, and then you adjust dun na lang sa remainder. Okay? And also, don't forget na, let's say may mention sa problem na, okay, uh, let's give a bonus of 10% to partner A, and then may net loss na nakalagay. Magbibigay ka ba ng bonus? Answer is no. You don't give bonuses if there's a net loss. Okay? You only give bonuses if merong income yung partnership. Alright? And, and also, take note class na yung tanong dito is, how much would partner C's capital account change? Yung change daw. That's why answer natin is 8,800 degrees. But what if, the question is, how much would the ending capital balance of partner C? So, co-consider mo pa yung beginning balance niya of 32,000. Alright? 32,000 less 88, yun yung may ending capital balance of partner C. So, be careful lang with the questions. Even though madali isolve yung partnership operation, be careful na lang pag maglalagay ka ng final answer. In this case, we know final answer is letter C, 8,800 degrees. Class is the end of this free tutorial. Patikin pa lang yan. What if during partnership operation, nagkaroon ng errors in net income? What if there's a change in the profit and loss ratio during the year? What would you do? Tuturo namin lahat yan. At Pinakel, regardless of your accounting background, we will provide you with the most efficient and effective review by focusing on best review strategies, key points to remember, shortcuts, common tricks, and mistakes. For reservation and to know more about us, visit our website and Facebook page. All the links are in the description below. Reserve now because we only accept limited number of students in order to preserve the quality of our review. Last is missed. See you next meeting.